Hey guys, welcome back to part 7 of the Firestore tutorial. So until now we used hash maps to save and retrieve our data to and from the Firestore database. In a real app it might be more convenient to use your own custom Java objects instead. So in this video we will create a node class and then use this class instead of hash maps to save and retrieve our data. So let's go into our project. We right click on our package and create a new Java class. We call it node. We can keep the rest as it is and click OK. This node class will have two fields, one for the title and one for the description, just as our node document right now. So we create a private string, we call it title and a private string description. Next we create a public constructor, which will take a string title and string description as input, like this. And we will use this constructor when we create objects of our node class. In here we assign our member variables to these values, this.title equals title, this.description equals description. And we also need getter methods to later get these values out of our node object. So we write public string, we call the first one get title, and it will return our title member variable. And a public string get description, which will return our description. Now instead of writing this manually, you could also right click, go to generate, and here let Android Studio create a constructor or getter and setter, but in this example we wrote it ourselves. We don't need setter methods in this example, but if we would run it like this, our app would crash, because Firestore always needs a public empty constructor. So we write public, node, empty pair of parentheses, empty pair of curly braces. But I'm gonna put a comment in here, public no arc constructor needed, so we don't get any confusions later. Our document in the Firestore database also contains a title and description. And Firestore will know that these are the corresponding member variables for these values in our document, but only if the names are the same. And actually the name gets generated by the getter methods, so if we would name this get title x or get title 1 2 3 for example, or any other name, Firestore would not know that this is the title in our document. And then our title x here would be null. So these names have to fit. But if you still want to avoid that these values are null, you can also initialize them like this with an empty string. But we won't use this in this example. Okay, that's it for our node class. Now let's switch over to our main activity Java file. And now we want to replace our hash maps. First, let's do this in our save node method. Here we still have to retrieve our values from the edit text, so we can keep these two lines, but we don't want to create this hash map. Instead, we want to create our node object. So we write node, we call it node, equals new node. And now we take our constructor, which takes a string title and a string description. We pass our title from the edit text and our description from the edit text, and that's it. The name of this object is still node, so we can keep this node node, and we will have the same result. But this time the container is our node object. Next let's go into our load node method. In here we can delete these three lines. Document snapshot.getString and this comment here with the map. Instead we want to recreate our node object. So again we write node which we call node equals and now we don't create a new node, instead we take our document snapshot and call dot to object and pass node.class. This will automatically recreate our node object from our document and fill the corresponding fields as long as the names fit. But we still have to get our title and description out of this node object, so we write string title equals node and then we can use our getter methods, get title and the same for the description. And now we copy these four lines here, where we recreate our node from the document snapshot, get our two strings, and set them as text on our text view data. We copy them, and then we go all the way up, into our unstart method here, into our snapshot listener. Because here we want to do the same. We can replace these three lines, document snapshot get string, get string, and text view data set text, and paste the code we copied. And now our app will still behave the same, but we use our custom node object as the container. So let's test it. 
As you can see it was still able to retrieve the title and description and load it into our app, but only because the names of our fields in our node class and in the document were the same. And now we can use our app as usual, title123, description123, save, and it saves these new values. Okay, if this video was helpful please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe for future parts of this Firestore tutorial. Take care.